Hey there Together Learners, Eric back again. And in this video, I'd like to talk about a very common problem when you create websites using new Google Sites. A lot of you are making portfolios using new Google Sites, and you have this issue of the same content appearing on all the pages in your website. Well, if you have this issue where you can't put the content on the page you want, but it's also appearing on your home page and all the other pages combined, this video is gonna show you how to fix that and what's involved. Okay, so let's take an example to see what I'm talking about, right? So if we go to an example site here, hello, Yuhoi Yan, this is, uh, a student portfolio here and the home page here you can see some information about his tra travels and favorite things and right here you have my favorite game on the bottom of this website and reflect on a gamer type and if you go to the classes page you'll notice that that same information is there that same little bottom of the website is there and then we'll go to this other sub page game based tourism where this there's actually assignments for that class, a game for change, but then my favorite game and the gamer type, again, is at the bottom of that page. So uh, this, page, this information was put on the website one time, but it's appearing on all the pages. Well, this is something called, in website design, called the header and the footer, right? Uh, if you go to any website, like Amazon or Google or any of those things, you notice on the top of the page, is usually the same for all the pages you visit, and in the bottom is also the same. That's why we call them the header and the footer. So your website can look similarly, or you could find the same links and information no matter where you go in your website. You could do the same for your Google site. So what's happening here is the information you accidentally put in the footer of your website. So now that's it, it's gonna appear on every page, on all the pages that you specify has a, can show the footer on your website. So if we go to the back end, you can see how that looks. All right, uh, I'm gonna go into the edit mode of this website and so I start to scroll down uh, towards the bottom and we see that content here. I'm gonna hover over it and you notice how it turns black. And now there's this thing down here called edit footer. So now you know, if, if you hover over this, that this is in the footer of your Google site, which means everything that you put in your footer is going to be on every page, including your home page and every other page. You can turn on and off the footers on for specific sites, but it's copied basically for every page on your site. And in this situation, we don't want it in the footer. We just want it on that game-based tourism class page because these are uh, mini assignments uh, for that particular page. So what do we have to do? Well, to fix it, we gotta take stuff out of your footer and put it back where it belongs and then delete everything that's in your footer so it doesn't appear on all the pages. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the page where it belongs. Right, and then scroll down, you can see the footer here. I'm going to click on this edit footer. Now I have it here. Now I have this, this information, this page. I'm gonna click on Control C for copy and go back up. Notice how that was gray and I clicked on it. Now I'm not editing the footer because I clicked back out of it. I'm gonna go in here and click paste. And now I've copied that little section uh, from the footer to the main page. Now I'm gonna do that same, I'm gonna go click on the footer again so I can copy it. Copy this little guy here, go back up to the main page, click somewhere and make sure it's highlighted, Control V to paste it. Control V to paste it. I'm gonna go back down to the footer again. There's one more thing here. Then this little section here, it's highlighted in blue. Now I can hit Control C and Go back up to the main page, highlight that so it's blue, control V to paste it. Now I have everything copied into the page that's supposed to, that's information supposed to be. Now I'm gonna go in here and edit the footer and delete these things from the footer. Boom, boom, boom. 
Now there is no footer on this page. You can go, what happens many of the times here, it's hard to see. Let me turn this off for a second. Mm, here, down here. Now you see that it says add footer. When you accidentally click on that and start adding content, you're then adding things to for your entire website. So you wanna avoid that add footer if you only want that information to appear on one page of your portfolio. Okay, so we're almost done. As always, after you make changes to your student portfolio or your Google site, you want to publish your information again so people on the web can see the changes to your website. So I'm gonna click publish. It's gonna show you a draft of what you have now and how that's different from what's happening. It's gonna look the same because the footer uh, is, a not on, is not on this page, but we moved that to the actual page. Click publish. Now I'm gonna go back to the homes page of this first site and reload it. And let's see if that stuff is still there. It's gone. <laughs> there it is. After re refreshing the page, it's there. And now we go to the game-based tourism course and that stuff is there again. Super simple, super easy. This was how to make sure the same content doesn't appear accidentally on all the pages of your Google site. Moving stuff from your footer to where it should be. All right, hope that was helpful. We'll see you in the next video, everybody. Bye-bye now.